Hey guys, I'm going to go through the Core Sensor 3 Pro Bar unboxing with you. I'm also going to put it side to side with my old Core 2S Pro Bar. And we're going to look at some key differences and yeah, we'll see what this unboxing looks like. Okay, do not cut the lines of the spot. It smells new. It smells really new. And we open this. Cool. Oh, obviously that is our... And I'm gonna do that. Ooh! Ooh! That's too many old guys. Oh, it smells so new! Oh, it's actually got a little curve there. That goes perfectly in there. That's a big improvement. I don't know if you can see that. So, uh, the Bavu 4 has a bunch of winders that oh, put my tight. It goes like that, nice. Tab. Tab over. Easy. Oh, that, that's a good idea. So, that tab helps a lot with just getting it over there. Oh, man, these, these lines are like oily and amazing. Just, I feel like they're going to cut through the wind. Look at the feeling of that. It oh, looks good. Oh, that's right. I am pretty excited about that. Alright, so here it is. You can see them side by side exactly the same way. So, Core Sensor 2S Pro and the Sensor 3 bar and they're really good lines and I know that because I've also got a sensor 2S bar and not a pro bar so just the yellow and white one the 2S and um, the lines are, are good but they do not feel the same as these lines so I, I did a bit of research and they these lines are made in Linus or something they're premium by like this line maker that's renowned in the world for making the best lines so when people say, oh, it's, it doesn't really matter, um, I've tried these lines and I've tried the other ones and I've tried other bars, two brands of other bars, and these lines are better. And they're, they're, they're both very similar in weight, I would say. They, they are, these are the lightest bars on the market, apparently, and they really do feel like nothing when you hold that. Like you think about pushing up and down if you have a three, four hour session and this is going to be what you want. The next obvious big thing is these. So, oh, it sounds so good. Anyway, these are the clips. So open, can, I'll, I'll let you listen. The black side. Nice, simple, clean. They're like a plastic composite, but it feels really good. So it actually sticks open and then you close it. And it's it's wants to stay closed. You can change these, so we'll open this. I can push that out. Okay, cool. I can push you out. And then <laughs> I can swivel you around. Cool. Done. That was easy. That was pretty good. Okay, so now on one side I've got a wide one and one side I've got a less wide one. What I'm really excited about and this is one of the reasons why I got this bar over this bar and not many people I, that I've seen online have spoken about it enough but one thing that I would replace quite regularly because the lines are so strong and because you know it's a well-made bar and everything there's always going to be a weak point so one of the weak points on the 2s i thought was this 
So I normally have it set to the white setting. As you can see, you can do exactly the same. You just have to pull this out on this side and attach it to this side. Very, very easy and straightforward to change your bar length. But this is the thing where I think is a massive difference. And it's going to be a massive difference when I try this bar on the water. Because as you can see, we'll look at this like this. There is a right angle there. So that bar, that line wants to go up. Obviously, it wants to go that way because that's where the tension is. And that is creating a lot of stress on that right angle. I think this is the biggest improvement on the core sensor S3. I mean, the push release is cool. I didn't mind the, uh, the twist release. Um, that's cool, you know. But the single best thing about this bar is no matter what my bar length, that is going to come straight up, straight up through this part here. That is the difference. Straight out as opposed to out the other side and then straight up, which creates a lot of wear and tear. I don't know if you can really see that. So what I'm really looking forward to is to see how this feels with a wide setup. And so have a wide setup and just have it going straight out. Because I'm assuming, I don't know, I'm not a professional rider, I'm literally a, a very beginner intermediate rider and I would like to see what that feels like with a kite in the sky as opposed to the 2S. Still a great bar, I love this bar, lots of good sessions on it, but the big thing is going to be that straight angle there. I mean look at that, if we just, like, if we just play around with that, you know, kite moves that way it moves that way and you just oh I, i'm really looking forward they've all in all i'm really really excited to see how this goes because improve where people have had complaints on little issues that they've had on say this bar and they've just gone okay let's just make it better that is really what i'm excited about Okay guys, well, that is my unboxing of the Core Sensor 3 Pro Bar, and I hope you enjoyed it. I had a little bit of a comparison between the Core Sensor 2S Pro Bar, which is my older bar, in comparison to this new one, which is the Core Sensor 3. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and a little bit of a comparison. My next video is gonna be an, uh, an honest review. I'm gonna be on the water, first session with the Core Sensor 3 pro bar and just getting just sharing my feelings and how it goes on the first session so it's a new toy for me and i just want to share it with you so if you did have any queries and some some queries that haven't been answered on the internet already then hopefully this unboxing and kind of honest review will just answer everything you may want to know about uh, yeah we'll see you next time stay tuned enjoy your sessions yeah. enjoy kite